Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show my latest creation, the Nixie timer, in a little bit more detail. But before that, a little info about PCBWay. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Not only does PCBWay offer high quality PCB services, which include standard PCBs, they also offer advanced PCBs, flexible PCBs and PCB assembly. You can upload your Gerber files and select the options according to your needs, including SMD stencil and assembly services. On the top of the page you can make your selection. PCBWay also has CNC machining, sheet metal cutting and bending, 3D printing and injection molding services. You can choose from a vast variety of materials. You can upload your CAD file for an instant online quote, including the selection of your preferred material and surface finish. They also offer anodizing of aluminum parts in different colors and surface treatments. You can get sheet metal fabrication and laser cutting. 3D printing services and cover your injection molding needs. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for hobbyist and professional manufacturing as well. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Well, anyway, let me start with the PCBs. So this is the top PCB, which has nothing but holes in it, with a nice uh, enic uh, slash gold um, rings, yeah, holds rings, and of course I have to put my name on everything, and uh, this is it. I used a nice cursive um, font. Normally I do use the built-in vector font. And I think this goes with the uh, classic uh, NeoPixels, anyway. This is the main board where all the electronics are. And the battery goes on to the back, including the Type-C connector and the on-off switch. And this is the top PCB, which is housing the 8-bit converter chip and the uh, for Nixie tubes, including the encoder for um, adjusting the time and the timer. And of course, I had to put my name again on every PCB. So, these are the main PCBs, and um, of course, they were thankfully sponsored by sponsored by pcbway.com thank you very much for that and let me get those out of the way i did print some covers for the initial clock and this one is this one of course so it does put the clock at an angle because otherwise it is quite hard to read the digits because they go in depth obviously so that's that and if you want to use it as a portable device you use this one which is a plain box just to cover up the battery and it does look a little nicer like that and then I have this cover which has two holes in it which you could mount onto a wall or wherever you want Adam mount it in your car <laughs> so anyway and that goes like that. This one is a little bit deeper to give the heads for the screws. Oops, this way. So it's about, I think, two millimeters. So to give the screw heads a little space so they won't touch the battery. So those were the prints. Uh, technically, if you have any project that uses a 18650 battery with these battery holders let me show you again here these are pretty standard 
and uh, if you like you can I just ask me and I will send you the STL files so you can print covers for your project as well and does fit nicely so anyway I won't get that out there so these are the files this is actually just a bottom piece and the regular battery cover glued together uh, for ease of printing because that way you can print those all in the correct um, angle so you get nice prints for them so that's that and uh, let's put that back on here and I did show you in a previous video how to uh, set the time and whatnot well let's do it again I guess it's pretty simple by rotating the knob you set the minutes by pushing in the knob you set the hours as simple as that this is the clock code and there's also a timer code which I showed in another video again and on that you adjust the time and settings also with the rotor encoder obviously and it goes up to 99 minutes and 59 seconds so that is that and um, in case you're wondering this is my single digit clock uh, I have it's not quite finished I made a small stand for it because it needs to be angled again and I'm waiting for some parts and I will show it then when it's all the way done so anyway while I was doing this and I was making another clock I wanted to try different Nixies and here they are these are the IN14 Nixie tubes and I made it a stand-up clock and I printed a, another socket and uh, I think it it's nothing special square but it does look nicely it is angled in both directions so it flanches out anyway and uh, this is the same PCBs less the top PCB oh I just got zapped and uh, well you have high voltage here um, there's right now they're open so if you touch it directly you will get a little sting I mean it's nothing serious it won't kill you so I might cover those for with paint or something like that but right now they're open since your clock I mean you're not gonna handle it all the way all day long so right now you speed this up I have a nice nice slot machine animation and it fires up every 15 minutes and I think it looks quite nicely it looks even it's better visible on the standing digits so let's do it again nothing special but I do like it so this is the second version or extended version what I'm also mostly doing is I'm using these magnetic connector so you can easily plug it in and out of power and on this one I'm using a cable like this if I can find it real quick yes I do it's just a regular USB cable and it has a magnetic head this one is angled to the side because obviously if it would be angled towards the bottom it will not fit right now this just slips in there and fits and the wire goes out to the back so you can hide it or wire it or through something else so this is it this is another version now if you do have questions please let them let me know and um, Adam yours is on the way today and um, like I said if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments um, this or PCB has USB type C connector with serial data so you can plug it into your computer and upload code I will supply three codes with this uh, 
clock code, the timer code and a code for now that's not finished that shows the temperature. It also has a temperature sensor in there. And um, I will put these on PCBWay. You can download them or purchase them from there. And uh, if you want to make your own, these are based on the Atmega 328 chip with the RTC module and I will also share the codes. So if you're interested, leave me, uh, let me know, leave a comment in the description or in the, on the bottom of the video. And I also want to thank or ask for support by using either my Banggood affiliate link or donation via PayPal or just go to my Tindy store, links in the description to purchase anything you like and uh, this is it that's my retro clock this is my OLED uh, ice cube clock with a prism on top this is my altimeter and I made all videos about this this is uh, another um, this is actually an internet clock ESP and this is my woo meter that you can also purchase so and update on this single nixie tube is coming up anyway this is it today <laughs> today not too long of a video so i hope you made it to the end uh, thank you for all your support and if you like it please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos thank you very much for watching take care everybody